Hello everybody, um, I feel like I start loads of vlogs in uh, like turby towels, um, but uh, yeah, my hair's wet so let's get used to it. Uh, my makeup's here because I have come back from uni, as you probably know, and I have put my makeup kind of back in these things because I haven't got my Ikea Alex kind of back here yet because, well, that thing is not fitting in my PA. Um, so I've got to wait for one of my parents to kind of come up and take it home with them um, because it hasn't fit in my car. So all my makeup is back in here, but it doesn't all fit. So I've also got it in kind of like these baskets down here. Um, so a bit of an unorganised mess at the moment. But I thought I would vlog. Um, Bradley's back at work and he's working in Derby. Um, so he's not like back where we live at home. Um, and he's there for like the majority of the week and stuff. So I haven't got too much to do. Um, I've got one thing on there every single day. Um, but not like tens and tens and tens of stuff to do. Um, at three o'clock today, I am getting my hair done. Um, and I'm getting balayage, um, so at the ends I'm kind of going a bit blonder. Um, I kind of wanted to go lighter because I just really like it in the summer and last year I went really light naturally. My hair just went practically ginger and it had so many light blonde bits in it and I loved it. Um, I don't necessarily want it ginger, um, I still want it kind of like brown um, as the base colour, but I really want kind of like lighter blonde balayage bits. Um, so it's going to take quite a lot of time going at three, um, but seriously, because it's going to have to be bleached and then like toned and all this, it's going to take quite a lot of time. So I'm doing that at three and it's currently uh, quarter to twelve. Um, I was at Bradley's this morning and I just had some board eggs for breakfast, just in case, you know, you wanted to know. And I've just done my makeup. One thing I just want to mention is... I really, really like this. Um, it's the Essence Silky Touch Blush in the colour Baby Doll. Um, I got this last year. I've just used it today and it looks really, really pretty. I've also used the Balm Mary Luminizer slightly on like my cheek, um, cheekbones. But yeah, really, really like this. I think it's really nice. Um, but what I was going to say is I'm going to put my head in today. But I am going to, in the next couple of hours, start applying for some jobs. Because I came back home last week and realised how bored I was going to be for the entire summer. Um, and I was literally going to have nothing to do. Because I was like, when I was at uni, I was like, no, I'm not going to get a job. You know, I really just want to make the most of the summer, blah, blah, blah. But actually, thinking about the past week, I have been so bored and literally it was just awful. So I'm going to be applying for some jobs. Um, so I'm going to do that today. Um, and stupidly, I'm so annoyed with myself because I'm changing course, as you all know. If you don't, leave the video down below where it tells you about me changing my course. Um, but because I'm changing my uni course, I deleted all of my uni work off my laptop because I no longer needed it. And as I deleted it, I also deleted my CV off of my laptop so I'm having to redo a CV on my laptop so that is just absolutely so ridiculous um so I'm redoing that I'm currently watching Tanya's new video which is like a QA, and a and I'm about to film a QA and a actually once I've dried my hair so I'm going to film a uni q and I asked questions um on Instagram yesterday I like, asked for questions and I've got quite a lot of questions from you guys um so yeah I'm going to film one of those in a second and my arm is killing right now so I'm going to go and I will update you once I've done my video and I'm applying so for jobs. I have just filmed um the video the university Q&A and it was really fun I really enjoyed doing that um it was like 35 minutes long so I've got to edit it a bit down but it's still going to be very long I still think it's gonna be like half an hour long um but I really enjoyed filming that that was really really nice to film um so yeah I'm just chilling now it's nearly one o'clock and I still haven't <laughs> I still haven't sorry I just got a text I still haven't started to doing anything to do with jobs um so i need to do that in the next two hours um but i have got like tonight um depending on what time i get back from my bloody air um and then i've got tomorrow too um so but yeah i'm really excited to have my hair done um, i don't know what i'm having with it cut i really want my hair cut short now i really want i really want it like here like i've never had it that short but i really want it here in like a really blunt cut with like a choppy kind of i just really want it like a blunt cut and then it all messy and like a middle parting and I just want it so bad and everyone in my life keeps going, no, you regret it, blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to do it at some point because I just, I'm desperate for it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you think it looks horrendous or you think it will look horrendous, let me know. Um, but yeah, everybody in my life keeps going, no, don't do it. Um, but I don't know. I'm going to put a picture here actually. Of the person that I really like the hair of. It's actually a model on Misguided and um, I just really like her hair and that is the hair I want. So I'm going to put a picture there of you probably be able to see it by now but uh yeah um so yeah better get on and apply for some jobs really so i am just off to get my hair done now i don't want anyone to see me because i hate vlogging in public um i'm just gonna off to get my hair done i'm already late it's already past two o'clock i should already be in there getting my hair done but 
hey ho we're gonna have to live um so yeah i will show you the finished product after i think it's gonna take like three hours or something so that should be really really not nice So hello everybody, I have new hair. Um, I really like it, um, I don't know, you lot will like it, but on camera it looks very stripy, um, so please don't think it looks stripy. Um, I'm sure in another life it won't look quite as stripy. I really like it, it's like subtle, um, and it's not kind of like blonde all over, but you've definitely got this kind of blonde kind of going through the ends. I really, really, really like it. Um, so yeah, I am a happy bunny. I think here it looks quite like stark because you've got this bit. But we kind of put it behind my ear, then you can see it. Kind of just really like it. Um, it's kind of got this subtle change, and some of it's really light, like there. Um, but I'm planning to get like a purple shampoo just to keep it kind of toned. So if you can hear the, the sound of my car, basically got in and my phone decided to die, so I had to put it in my car and charge it. So, but yeah, really like my hair. Sorry if you don't, uh, but I do. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I think also you always need to like wash it yourself um, and kind of like do it yourself um, rather than like when somebody else does it um, and I think this will look really nice curled because you'll be able to see like all the different kind of colours in it I might do that tomorrow and show you guys so yeah super duper happy with my hair and I just love my hair so I've been in there for like four hours and I don't even feel like I've been in there that long um, so yeah super happy with my hair sorry if I keep touching it I've just had my hair done so let's forgive me um, and I totally forgot that one of my best friends works in the hotel where I got my hair done so that was nice to see him too um, his car is actually parked next to mine um, but yeah that was cool but I am just about to go home um, and get some dinner because I am so hungry. I am starving, man. Um, literally been there four hours and I hadn't had any lunch. The only thing I've had today is two boiled eggs at Bradley's and a bit of chocolate. So, yeah, I'm absolutely starving. So I really hope we're having something nice for dinner. Morning, guys. Um, so it is now Tuesday and I forgot to finish my vlog yesterday or forgot to finish this part of the vlog so yeah i figured for myself i'm actually gonna get myself a green tea or some kind of tea because i just fancy it we've got these ones these are the pucker detox ones they've got like aniseed in them they're quite fancy just plain green tea and i don't even really like it that much but it's just a bit quite refreshing please ignore my office going right we've got pure green tea from twinings we'll have some of this um yeah, I was just reading that it's supposed to be really, really good at, like, um, helping you lose weight um, and just kind of boosting your metabolism and stuff like that. And recently, I've just kind of been trying to not necessarily lose some weight uh, or weight, lose a little bit. Um, but, yeah, I just kind of want to eat a bit better and do some exercise and stuff and just get back to kind of, like, this time last year, I was a really, like... I was really healthy weight and I'm not saying I'm not now um but last year my stomach was like really flat and I had you know I was really toned and all of that and I kind of want to get back to that so I'm trying to healthy eat but without kind of starving myself kind of thing um and without kind of making myself miserable because of it um but yeah we'll see what this green tea does <laughs> um I don't know what to have for breakfast either I might just have some fruit or something but it is like 20 to 11 now so I could just have this tea and then just wait until lunch really um I am going to meet my friend Chris today uh for coffee um at like four or something I think um yeah so I'm doing that and then last night I was up really late because I was applying for lots of jobs that I've mentioned quite a few times um like after I got back from my hair and yeah I was applying for these jobs um so so yeah, um, I'm going to do a little bit more of applying for jobs this morning, but I kind of looked at a lot of places last night. I've already applied for like eight, so we'll see if I hear anything back from them, because there's no point in me applying for like 15 and then hearing back from like one that I don't really want to hear back from before one that I want to hear back from. If that makes sense. Um, so I've arrived like eight last night. I'm just going to kind of wait a week. See if I hear anything back from those. Um, yeah. But I'm going to jump in the shower in a second. After I've tried this cream. Yeah, always 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 have to um put like, so much cold water in or like half cold water because just it's such a worst one something it's really hot to drink um so yeah i'm gonna put some cold water in this now and also i have to like let it like stir and like not stir what's the word 
or let the tea bag kind of like sit in the cup for such a long time because otherwise I just don't like it. Um, I don't know if you know, I don't actually like proper tea, like tea with milk and sugar and that kind of stuff. But I am getting into kind of chai tea, especially like this one by Twinings. It's in like a blue like packet, like the plastic packets, like the really nice teas. And I'm really getting into that and that is with milk and sugar. So I'm starting to be converted. Um, but I still, normal tea, I just can't get into it. Um, but I do like normal tea, but like fruit teas, like green tea, that kind of stuff. Green tea's not my favourite at all. Like I'll drink it because it's good for me. But kind of like the, those I just use like the Puka Detox ones. And I really like all of the Twinings ones but in like the packets. I think if you've seen them you'll know what I mean. But they're in like the plastic pouches. And they're a little bit more expensive. So uh, but yeah, just going to get on and put some water in this tea. So I've just found some cherries in the fridge. Uh, which I actually brought last week and I'm eating. Um, so that's exciting. I'll have those for breakfast. Uh, maybe not all of them, but quite a few of them. Um, but they are out of date by two days, but I'm sure they'll be absolutely fine. And this is my green tea looking cool, and this is me in my PJs. Um, but yeah, I'm going to eat this, drink that, and get this Can we just talk about this? On Welcher today, I think it's yeah, Welcher, Electrical Beauty Face Mask. What the hell? Shall we have a look at what it is? This is a bit awkward. <clears throat> Here we go. Right. What even is this? Electrical beauty face mask aims to pamper and deeply moisturise skin. Well, that looks interesting, but I'm not being funny. Why wouldn't you just get one out of a packet? Weird, that is. Thought I'd just share that with you all because I've never seen that in my I'm life. I'm just about to start my makeup and I just want to go on about how amazing this brush is. It's just so good. This is the Sephora Pro Airbrush number 55 brush. And it's just so good. It's like a massive kind of brush. And it's not very dense at all. It's really good at buffing foundation. Um, it's just a lovely, lovely brush. And I'd really recommend it. If any of you go near a Sephora, um, or if you're going to end up ordering anything off of Sephora. But this brush is just out of this world. And I use it every single day to apply my foundation. And another thing that I absolutely love is this. I am in love with this. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. This is in the colour Sand, because I'm currently tanned. Um, because I've been on holiday. Uh, but it's basically mattifying. But I do feel like it's not completely matte. So like, when you first put it on it is... And the finish is quite like powdery a little bit um but then as it kind of wears on in throughout the day i do find that my shine comes out when it's quite nice and it looks really natural on the skin i can't really see this on my skin i don't think uh but yeah absolutely love this i would really really recommend it um i don't think it'd be great for people with dry skin but you know i'm not too sure um uh, but for my skin type which is like kind of like normal a bit of combination, but mainly normal with a few oily patches. Um, yeah, I would say it's a very, very good foundation, so definitely give it a go. Um, yeah, and I've just been applying it with this brush, and I just love it. been using it every single day. But I just thought we'd give a little shout-out to that, because it is absolutely amazing. And I've literally got practically the same makeup on as I had yesterday, uh, but I just really, really like it. I've got, um, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Palette 1 because I haven't used, like, palettes in ages. I've been really loving single eyeshadows. Just stuff has some really good ones, like from Seventeen and Kiko and L'Oreal, and I'm just, like... We're really enjoying single eyeshadows instead of using palettes. Uh, but I used the Amity Naked Palette uh, 1 today. And I used... I'll show you. Um, 
I used uh, toasted, I can't point to them because I'm holding the camera, but I used toasted um, all over the lid. Then I used smog in the outer corner. I used dark horse just kind of underneath the lash line. And then I used, where is it? And then I used one of these um, L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows, these, which I absolutely love in the colour Endless Chocolate. I literally use this every single time I do makeup, but I use it in like the outer corner out here. Uh, but yeah, I really like my makeup today. I think it looks really nice. And I used Brave on my lips, um, and I haven't used Brave in ages. And then I've also used this again. I think I mentioned it yesterday. Uh, the Essence Silky Touch Blush in the colour Baby Doll, because it is absolutely fab. Um, but yeah, that is my makeup for today. Um, it is ten past one and I've only just got ready. Um, it's because I got an application for like a job through like a um, you've been shortlisted type thing and I had to do like an assessment thing online. And that took an hour so you know. And then I ate some chocolate and that wasn't really very good because I'm trying to eat well so oops um so yeah i'm gonna dry my hair and i'm really excited because obviously i've had my hair done and i keep like forgetting i've had my hair done so i'm starting to like style it myself i might give her a few curls at the bottom and see how so i've changed my mind like 200 times as to what i was gonna wear um today and like in the clips that you've seen it's probably like me wearing a white um shirt but i'm not wearing that anymore <laughs> um i really want to wear this skirt because i got it from topshop and i know quite a lot of people have got it and you'll see it in a haul video like next week um i know a lot of people have got it but i really like it i think it's really different and I like the style um, but it's more of kind of that 70s vibe and a bit more casual than what I normally wear so all the tops that I kind of own don't really go with it um, so I was just wearing this by itself underneath um, with it and I just wasn't feeling it that much and then I saw this I was like yeah that'll go well um, so I think it looks okay and then I've just got this little necklace on from Dorothy Perkins I might put a bit of a bigger necklace on um, but yeah I like this I think it's because it's kind of casual um, this skirt so you need like a casual top with, to go with it I kind of want I really want like a um, a fringed waistcoat like a suede one um, and I really want like a suede top as well to go with this skirt because I think that would look really cool um, but I don't know uh, let me know what you think on this uh, but yeah this is what I'm wearing and I haven't curled my hair because I've left my curlers at my dad's um, but I'm about to go there because I need to get some passport details um, for the stupid student finance because because I'm changing course from like um, fashion to business um, you then have to do student violence all over again and it's so annoying so I need to just go and get some passport details and then I can send that off but yeah this is what I'm wearing today so yeah I keep hearing some proper strange noises in the house and it's like freaking me out man and yeah I'm just getting a bit scared but we'll see um, well we won't see because hopefully there'll be absolutely nothing in the house um, but yeah it's kind of creeping me out a little bit also I'm going to use this bag today uh, really attractive angle here this bag from New Look that will be in my haul again next week I'm going to use this fringe bag today because I feel like it goes well with the outfit um, and it's a really nice bag so I better get on and go to dad and get my passport details and curl my hair right we have a bit of a situation and that situation is if that it's a bit windy outside um, and I, I don't know if you can hear it, look, look at those trees, look at that. Um, I haven't got a jacket, so this should be interesting. I've only got to go to the post office though, so let's pray to God it'll be fine. I might actually keep my hair straight, I know I keep talking about my hair because it's new, so but I think I might keep it straight, I'm not too sure. Decide when I get to Dad's, but to be quite honest, I'm not really doing much today. I'm going to meet my friend Chris and that's it, he doesn't really care what I look like. Um, so... Yeah, I don't really see the point in curling it. Um, but I always find the light in the car <laughs> makes my skin look really airbrushed. Um, I don't know, it might look horrendous, but on camera that's how it looks. Um, so I am about to head off to Dad's. So you can come with me. I've actually... What the hell? I've actually just um, ordered last night a um, car mount. Like a... Did I, did I just say it right? A car mount? Um... <laughs> for my windscreen so I can put my phone in it when I'm driving and like chat to you guys or like dance to some music or whatever um so that should be quite cool because then I can like oh there's a car coming out that should be quite because cool then I can like pop you in there and whatever um so yeah um that should be cool and that should come like in the next couple of days so the next vlog you see I will be able she didn't even look at me um the next vlog you see I should be able to talk to you in my car which is fab um but yeah for now I'm going I'm just chilling on my sofa at Dad's right now because I was going to go and send the documents I need to send in town. Um, but in like an hour I'm going to meet my friend so what's the point in like going in now just to post something. So I might as well just go in in like half an hour and then be able to like time it so then I arrive at the right time to meet my friend. 
But I have just realised I ordered this. It's not the real one. Um, this is a dupe of the Nars Ita brush. Um, and it feels very similar. I've never actually held the Nars Ita brush. I've never even had that much of an inclination to buy it. Um, but I'm pretty sure it was Rosie J. Pierce. Um, I'm pretty sure that mentioned this, the dupe of it, and said, you know, I got it off eBay and whatever. Um, I got it for £15, which I think the majority of the sellers set for £15. When I was looking, there was no cheaper ones, really. Um, and this is what it looks like. It's got, like, the nars writing on it um it's open at the side like the nars one is um it's just exactly the same and the nars like the writing is really similar well it's like identical and the packaging is even that rubberized packaging um so yeah it's pretty amazing and then this is the brush it does feel soft but not like amazingly so but i've never felt the proper one so i wouldn't know what to compare it to but I'm very excited to use this. Um, I'm definitely going to use it tomorrow. Um, and I will let you guys know kind of what I think of it. Um, but I really, really like it. I think it's fab. Um, but yeah, look how cool it is. And it's only £15. So that is so, so good. So I'm very, very excited to use this. <laughs> I've just got back from my coffee with Chris and it was so nice he had a lovely catch up um, and it was really really nice to see him and stuff um but I think I'm going to end the vlog here uh, for you all. I really don't understand how people do weekly vlogs. Maybe I just talk too much. But if I did a weekly vlog, it would literally be like an hour long. Um, so I'll just do them in like two or three day snippets from now on. Um, I am going to try and maybe do once one a week. But we will see. There won't be a weekly vlog because, as I just said, they'll be too long. Um, but, you know... A a couple a few day vlog um and then i could put it up maybe on like a wednesday or something in the middle of the week so we will see that is not a kind of full commitment to that but um we'll see i am going to end the vlog here though because i do think it's got quite long now and i really like my hair right now i'm really warming to it um i do really like it in the first place but i just kind of you have to get used to new hair don't you um i don't ever really immediately really really like it so yeah i'm definitely warming to it anyway um so yeah i'm gonna leave it here here. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and I hope you've enjoyed me kind of chit chatting to you and whatever. Everyone always says they really like my vlogs and I don't really understand why. I don't really feel like I do anything interesting in them. But yeah, please subscribe if you haven't already. The button is just down below um, and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye guys!